Happy Friday and thanks for watching This Week in Discovery News. I'm Trace and I'm going to recap the top stories of the last seven days, including your best social media comments. This week we find out if the zombie apocalypse is upon us. Hint, no. We watch Venus transit the sun and we find out that we might be going to Alpha Centauri soon. Our first story is Miami cannibal attacker, what are bath salts? In case you missed it, this week the police in Miami shot a man while he was attacking another person. The clincher is that the man was on a naked rampage and was chewing off a homeless man's face. A witness told CNN that the police approached the man, pointed their gun at him, and told him to stop. At which point the man turned around, growled like a wild animal, and continued to eat the man's face. Does this sound familiar at all? The reason for the attack was unknown, but the attacking man was high on something called bath salts, which means he had to be shot six times before he stopped eating the man's face. This grisly crime captured national attention and exposed this bath salts drug as one of the more dangerous drugs in circulation today. The actual drug has nothing to do with bathtubs and is more akin to crystal meth. It's a stimulant causing hallucinations, possibly death, and apparently zombification. There's a long recovery ahead for the homeless man who was attacked, but he is alive. Read the shocking tale at discoverynews.com slash Miami Bath Salts. On to more uplifting, hopeful, and non-zombie news. Uniting the planet for a journey to another star. Space travel breeds innovation. When we landed on the moon, it wasn't just our accomplishment. America may have been there, but the whole world celebrated. Now, a new project hopes to grab onto that cycle of innovation with the 100-year Starship. I know it sounds crazy, but this project aims to give humanity the ability to travel to another star by 2112. Barring significant medical advances, that means the scientists working on this today will never live to see this project completed. They're going all the way to Alpha Centauri. I know Star Trek is super geeky and cliche for this kind of a story, but this is like the beginning of interstellar travel. Engage, number one. The DARPA-funded project is certainly inspiring, and we at Discovery News are excited to see space exploration taken so seriously. The best part is that the innovations surrounding any kind of space exploration program cause so much good in society at large. We can't just wait until everything is invented that we need to go to another star. We have to push the envelope, and that is what the 100-year Starship Project is planning to do. Learn how they're going to create this ambitious future at discoverynews.com slash 100 year starship. Sticking to outer space, our last story today is... Ready for the last Venus transit until 2117? What are you doing June 5th? Because if you're in America, you should grab your pinhole box, go outside and watch Venus transit the sun. Also, if you're in Europe, Africa, or Western Australia, it's going to happen on the 6th. I've got my binoculars. Time to look for the sun. This astronomical event was discovered by Jeremiah Horrocks in 1639, and it's discoveries like this that shape how we view the universe. As Earth lines up with Venus and the sun, we watch from our vantage point as Venus seems to float across the surface of the star. Wow. From observing things like this, we can extrapolate our speed, Venus's speed, the relative size of planets to the sun, and all sorts of other cool data. Data! data! If you do happen to watch the transit, make sure that you snap a photo and tweet it to our space producer, Dr. Ian O'Neill, at AstroEngine on Twitter. To learn how that whole aligned planet thing works, visit discoverynews.com slash Venus Transit 2012. So that's it for me. Thanks for tuning in to This Week in Discovery News. To see more of our coverage, make sure that you like us on Facebook, that you're following us on Twitter, and that you check out our Tumblr. Links to all of those are on our website, discoverynews.com, where you can also subscribe to our Discovery Daily Newsletter. Keep commenting and tweeting, I see them all, and have a great day. We'll see you next Friday. This stimulant can cause hallucinations, hallucinations? Blinded me with science. But I don't like them. Really excited, are super pumped. We're stoked. <laughs> We're stoked, bro. <sighs> Tommy me to a hog and roll me down a hill. That's crazy. I'm classically trained. United the planet for a to the star.